for centuries, man has enjoyed the fruits of fungi in the forms of bread and cheese, beer, and wine. Soon, we found that fungi too played significant ecological roles such as decomposers, breaking down organic matter, parasites, living off the expense of other organisms, and pathogens, disease-causing agents that ultimately result in the death of the host. These characteristics enable fungi to inhabit ecological niches everywhere, even in the ocean! Past research on marine fungi suggests a low abundance and diversity in the ocean compared to their land-based relatives. Considering the ecological traits of fungi, this makes sense. Nutrient-poor ocean water does not favor fungal feeding behavior. Fungi attach to larger substrates of complex carbons for nutrition, but the main source of carbon in the ocean resides in simple forms in small single-celled organisms like phytoplankton. So one might wonder, are there available niches in the ocean for our fungal friends? Up-and-coming science in this field offers a different story. Let's take a closer look. At the interface of land and sea and mangrove ecosystems, fungi play an important role in the decomposition of organic matter. They break down plant materials, which make carbon and nutrients accessible to coastal marine organisms. Fungi also play a role in the water column. Marine chytrids are zoospore fungi that act as parasites. They have a free swimming stage where they search for new hosts to infect. Chytrid zoospores are prey to zooplankton. By infecting diatoms, the chytrids make them a prey item as well. Zooplankton therefore have access to a new carbon source via chytrid-infected diatoms. All right. If the diatom is not eaten by the zooplankton, it eventually dies and breaks apart in the water from the infection. These nutrients are now available as dissolved organic matter to other organisms in the environment. This process contributes to the cycling of organic carbon within the water column and is called the microloop. Without the microloop, the fraction of phytoplanktonic carbon would sink to the bottom as a lost resource. We now move to the depths of the abyss. Under high pressure and in the darkness of the deep sea, fungi thrive. A new 2017 study on deep sea hydrothermal vents found fungi that act as pathogens to mussels. In a microbial hyphal stage, these fungi infect the gills of the mussels and kill them in the process of forming their fungal colonies. This keeps the mussels' populations in check when they become too dense on the hydrothermal vents. This cutting-edge science gives us new and exciting insights to how fungi play important roles as decomposers, parasites, and pathogens in oceanic environments. As a realm of unexplored science in the world's most abundant ecosystem, marine fungi are yet another mystery of the deep. Who knows what we will discover next about our fungal friends?